This is the Voice of Influence Radio Outreach Ministries and a Dr. R. E. McKenzie production. Welcome to the Prophetic Ministry. I am Bishop Dr. R. E. McKenzie from the beautiful island of Jamaica. May the Lord bless you as you listen to what He has to say for this season. On Tuesday, April 15, 2014, at 8.30 p.m., the word of the Lord came to me at the Kingdom Life Worship Center Ministries to address the church, the nation, and the world. This prophetic awakening word that you're about to listen to is a direct word from the heart of God to His people. God has made me a prophetic voice for this season. Throughout the ages, whenever the Word of God is released in the earth, it is usually met with much opposition. It is my prayer that this Word will find a place in your heart. But if this Word should cause any controversy or debate, contend with the source of the message, God, and not the messenger, because I'm just a carrier. If you are touched or inspired by this word, be a blessing to others and commit yourself by sharing this word to as many persons as you can reach. May God bless you as you do so. In Jesus' name, amen. After you. For the anointed word with yours truly, Dr. R. A. McKenzie. May your hearts be richly blessed. Come on, somebody, just let me hear you say Amen. God is good all the time. My God. I feel a flow I feel you know like when God is getting involved in somebody's affair he's, he's really getting to the root of it somebody's coming out I'm not asking I'm telling you somebody's coming out victorious because you've been disturbed for too long but I can hear clearly in my spirit it is final you don't have to fight this one. It is already taken care of. That's what the Holy God of Israel says. You shall see my face. You shall behold my glory. For I the Lord thy God. Has made thee a promise. In this very hour time season. And a moment. Stand and see the salvation of the Lord. For I have come. And I have come to deliver you. Like I did with the children of Israel. I have come. To rescue you. Out of your pain and bondage. I have come to set thee apart. To make thee a special. A special symbol for my glory I've already made thee a great nation I've already called you my peculiar people 
you're chosen of me I've already placed my seal and signature upon your life for where I'm about to take you my children is beyond what the eyes can see it's beyond what the ears can hear it's beyond what the mouth can speak and it's beyond where the feet can go for I the Lord thy God I've set this day aside to speak to you my children I am the God of your forefathers the God of Isaac the God of Moses the God of Israel for I the Lord are thy God who is seated on high is among you this day to speak concerning your state. To Sarakumbro Kizialas, open up your eyes, open your ears to, to my word, understand it well. For I'm about to take you to new dimensions, but I'll see. I will process my words in your heart, in your mind, and in your spirit. For this day, this moment, this hour. You will know that I, the Lord thy God, my name never change. Tu ngada biondo do kozianda la gwes, to sakiondo do bozembre kezina. You must be the people of faith, the people of peace the people of love the people of understanding you are called out you are set aside you must behave like the one who has created you La quesh to kuja mandila gyoza. Trust in me, not in sight, but by faith. If you live, live in the spirit. Forsake the flesh. For I have the Lord thy God am a spirit. They that worship me must do so in spirit and in truth. I'm a God of order. A God of discipline. A God of faith and my children must have it. Tumbre Kyumbro Kodizalas. Too many of you have fallen off shape. To Zabrokyundushi Ingadas. Your foundation is shaken. The storm is on. The earthquake is shaken. Where is 
is your faith? On whose ground do you stand? On whose rock do you lean on? Tu zambrendi andu guna uje Tizakalaswis Tu umbre kisas Tu leda suza Pepera guza How can you praise without faith? How can you worship without faith? Isn't it in vain? Then who and to whom do you describe? praises and worship can you answer your own question to the lay a gunda la guay to gadin do gumbaida i am the god who has no beginning and i have no end to you go break you under the bayo I was always haven't not I said in my word I am the first and the last the beginning and the end the great I am that I am. Have I not said in my word that there is no other that you must serve but the true living God? I'm ready to break yokes over your lives. I'm ready to chain demonic forces. I'm ready to ablaze your life with breakthroughs. For when I grant unto you breakthroughs and deliverance, it shall be like a wild fire running through a field. That's how I'm going to do it. Because everything before you shall be consumed. Everything that has affected you shall be consumed. Just like I revealed myself to Moses within the burning bush. So I will go before you like fire and consume all your enemies both spirit and physical enemies for I the Lord thy God will have mercy on whom I will have mercy on don't be what have you brought before me do I see do you have enough faith to believe me do you trust me enough to do it for you? Or are you just carrying it before me because it is a show? I'm not a God of puppy show. If you trust me, you trust me. If you don't, don't play fools. To you broke the end of cabrón kisses. No broke the end of the lagua. Umbra kisso salagi umbro kuna bidas. No umbahen kungu nazilas. 
For those who come before me must believe. You must believe that I am a reward of those who diligently seek me and seek my face and turn from your wicked ways. Have I not said that you will hear from heaven and I will come down and heal your land. Ebras numbro kuzisis porokumbra higanda la gwe tia saguena silusa mumbra kindos this is not the age to waste time this is not the season to sit down for the hour and time has come when the world is coming to an end and it's only the fit of the fittest shall survive but I will shorten the days for my elect sake don't forget that the world is coming to an end you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars this world is about to be split there are going to be thunder and lightning experiencing like never before you shall hear of countries being swallowed you shall hear of terrible floods for I'm about to release the sea upon the land the waters are already troubled and are positioned already to the lack windows it's going to be more than tidal wave, waves. Hear ye the word of the Lord. I'm about to disturb this universe for the witchcraft and the iniquity. Nations have sold out to evil. Countries has forgotten me presidents and the prime ministers has dishonored me governors and the world leaders I'm about to show signs and wonders and they shall know that I, the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, I am in charge. For I speak this word. Don't forget, my people, what I have said. It's going to be chaos. I'm going to overthrow. I'm going to visit the churches and I'm going to take the church out of the church. I'm sick and tired of the foolishness. It's the year of vengeance followed by other years to come. I shall visit and I shall be doing a sweep through. Hear he the word of the Lord. And those of you who sit in Zion, who are not bearing any fruit, I shall hewn out. I shall cut you down. And I shall kick you out of my garden. For you are barren. 
you serve no purpose. Tora bendoro sakiosa. Lombra ki azwenda unga da uses. Nombra ke sisikito. It's time to grow or die. Grow or die. This is not a time to waste. The seas will be disturbed. Hmm. Oh. Ah. Hurricanes are coming dreadful. They shall come into the categories unexpected. Look out at Jamaica. Look out Jamaica. You've sold yourselves out to witchcraft. Look out. For when I'm finished with you. Look out. Jamaica, look out. It's coming. There's going to be one worse than every other that has passed through this nation. And when I'm through, even your own government will not be able to restore it all. Because you have sold yourselves out, Jamaica, to the highest level of the great in witchcraft you have buried too much skulls you've cast into the sea too many bloods you have made too many sacrifices to gods and devils I'm tired the sin of this country has reached my nostrils. It makes me feel like I want to vomit you out. I am tired. I will walk through. Don't you smell what's coming into your country? You don't smell danger. I'm about to turn the sea against you. I'm about to turn the wind against you if you don't repent. I'm about to turn the storms against you. Not only Jamaica, but Caribbean islands will be affected by this great Disaster. For I, the Lord thy God, says this Many have turned the church into Illuminati, sold out for riches, sold out for gain. But I, the Lord thy God, shall step in. I'm tired. The wind will stand with me when I'm ready to act. For I can speak to them. I have the power to speak to the waves. Because I place them there. By the way, my children, I will disturb the very atmosphere and I will disturb seasons. I will disturb time. I will disturb events. Because I, the Lord of thy God, 
you shall hear about nations splitting into four and five. Tuganina Luba, for the sea shall take its course and separate them. Benorabus. It's time to trust in me. Give me what is due unto my name. You are a church, but you have become like an organization, well structured, not for my glory but to be seen by men. Turn to my people into idiots. But woe be unto them who lead my people astray. Because of riches, my people suffers. They die of a lack of understanding because you have rejected me. I have somewhat against thee. Lumbarekis imbrogo da bazi. Lobra kem numbrekisis. Toku umbra sakazi. I speak this to my leaders. Many I have fired, but are hired by men because of their fame. Fired by me, hired by men. What can you say in the last days? For I shall say, depart, depart from me. I know you're not a worker of iniquity. Strive in faith, Christian. Continue to do your work. Lembra hi guman di la gratia lutas. Pe embra kis in tungunu gumba liza. Those who have walked with me, who have tried each day to live a life. I salute you for your great effort. If you hold on to my word and my promise, I will secure you. I will keep you even in the toughest of times. I will hide you under my wings that even when they seek after you they will not find you they will see you standing yet they will be blinded for I shall place a covering over you my glory shall be your shield my glory shall be your guide preach my word you faithful ones, you chosen ones, the ones 
who live holy. Those who have not defiled their garments. I speak to you this day. Continue running the race with patience. Stand to the test of times. For you have a protector and a guide who will see you through. I will continue to assign angels to guide and protect you. Like I said in my word, the angels of the Lord encamp it around them that fear him. I speak to you, all of you in this place, and those who are messing yourselves up. Stop. Those of you who don't take your Christian lives serious, stop. For the time is coming when you will know that I am the Lord and thy God. You can't be in church and out of church at the same time. You can't be praising me with a mouth that is filthy, has no grace. How can bitter and sweet comes out of your mouth at the same time? That which is bitter is bitter and that which is sweet is sweet. Tunga na uke minda la If you mix Mix the bitter and the sweet. It gives you an insipid taste. And that's how some worship that comes up to me is like unto insipid. You're sweet in church, bitter outside. When I see the blood, I will pass over. For the Lord thy God said unto you this day, set your houses in order. Set it in order. For I the Lord thy God Is a holy God righteous in everything? Let everything be done decently and in order. To the bendy and Dorogunda la weas Tunguna be es embra cassisi lunda Pera cumbra kisses. I needed to talk to you this night. I have set it up this way. Because some of you are stagnant in your own way. Arise. Arise. For your light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. This day, if he has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the church. Yunga Swiss. 
this day if thou will diligently hearken unto my words then you will prosper I the Lord thy God the Holy One of Israel I have spoken I have spoken I have spoken I have spoken but I must leave this one final word with you fast practice fasting for the world is coming to a place where men and women will begin to cry out for food famine is about to consume the land there will not be much food shipping to Jamaica for it's going to be too expensive to bring food in the land men shall seek after everything you have you haven't seen the blood yet you haven't seen it yet church you pray they are coming to turn the church upside down for men have no fear for me and because the church has no fear for me you will open the door to evil men to take control men will not even fear what they do in the house gunmen shall flood the churches and take what the churches has because men refuse to worship me and to showcase my power because they have sold the church out they have taken over my church and let it be their church and because you take the church away from me you will have to deal with what man has to do so when you sow the seed make sure you can receive the harvest because no man who takes the church away from me will stand my church will never lose its power but man's church will have no power to Zalinda Neurokosa my church will not die for I will take my church out of man's church that's why I say I will take the church out of the church because sometimes you think that you're in my church but all over the world my people are positioned in man's church because where the spirit is not moving it's not my church it's not my church my church brings a life brings hope brings healing brings deliverance to the hinguro umbra gears lunga pacanese por ocasia azul para que não na labaunda look how i have used many to build churches and they started out right and along the way they have taken over my church <laughs> he that doesn't hear let him hear what the spirit says to the church you have taken over my church this is my church I will show you 
I will show you. You have diverted from the laws of my words to implement your own strategy, your own rules and regulations. The people will fear you over me. Ha <laughs> ha. Hmm. I'm about to visit you. Where is my Holy Spirit? You put him outside. You are running your show inside. I'm about to visit you. I'm about to visit you. How dare you? For behold, I stand at the door and knock. I'm knocking. While you're on the inside doing your own thing, I'm knocking. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man's hear my voice and open the door, I will come in and sup with him and he with me. You've taken over my church. Ha <laughs> ha. Don't think that you are mighty. Don't think that you are too great. But remember the one who creates you. I'm going to visit nations and cities. I'm going to visit states and kingdoms. And I shall disturb everyone. Some I shall cause great sicknesses to come upon them and remove them from the post. I shall cause to come upon them strange sicknesses. They will be missed by men but not by me. For they have taken over. Where is my spirit? I'm tired of people locking him outside. Ah, the holy God of Israel, you blaspheme when you reject my spirit. You blaspheme when you say there is no miracle. You blaspheme when you th say there is no healing. You make me to be a liar. Many pastors are on their way to hell. Standing on the pulpit of hell. Waiting for the door of hell to be open, to be consumed. For you preach a lie to rob my people. For I, the Lord of thy God says, this gospel must not be compromised. It must not be compromised. The gospel must be preached in season and out of season and anyone who compromise with my word will find themselves into hell. Some stand on the pulpit of heaven but some stand on the pulpit of hell. The pulpit is only an introduction to where many are going. To Lambre Kesi. For what you preach on the pulpit. Determines where you end. You compromise because you want money. You don't want to 
offend those who are in high society. Who are you? Who are you? You compromise with the large men. You compromise to take money from those who serve in the highest state of witchcraft. You compromise. You know their position in the large society. Yet you pretend as if you don't know where the money is coming from. I have somewhat against you. Your church is looking beautiful, but who gave you that money? Who built it? How can you say I bless you when you know where the money comes from? Tarabaswendusha. You have them as the backbone of the church, your board. Large men. How can they run a holy church? You compromise because they have it to give. But I have somewhat against thee. I will remove you from your post. If you lack repentance, am a God of mercy. Choose he this day whom will you serve? For no man can serve two masters at the same time. Strange fire shall fall from the sky and consumed cities and nations. I'm gonna burn through this land. I choose to speak to you this day. For the nation must know that I am the Lord the Holy One of Israel. Taraswe, Tioguma, Tiraque, Porabendi, Lambreke Sisu, No Borokambi, Lambreke Nduja Mendia. The cost of living around the world will be so bad, and will be so bad, and will be so bad that the knowledge of men will not be able to contain it but the chip is out don't take it they shall trick you <laughs> they shall trick you but after every man has it they shall reveal the truth about it. Don't take it in your hand. Don't take it in your forehead. Huh. They're also going to seek to put it in some feet. They're going to seek to hide it all over your body. They have already explored the different areas of your bodies that it can be used. Some people will only use their feet and everything is going to work. Take not the mark of the beast. Tila Brendosa I, the Lord thy God, am with you. I, the Lord thy God, will always be with you. I, the Lord thy God, will always guide you. My peace, I live with you unto eternity. This is the word of the Lord.
give the Lord a praise. Yes, yes, amen. This is where we break with the word for today. Thank you for listening. God be praised and we continue when next we meet. My friend, here is the opportunity for you to partner with Voice of Influence Radio Outreach Ministries. With your special financial contribution, you can send this to us through our BNS Bank of Nova Scotia. You can send your special contribution to our BNS Mandeville Branch number 50195. Our regular local account number is 0006336265 and our US account number is 0006336266. Luke 6 and verse 38 Give and it shall be given unto you good measure pressed down and shaken together and running over. And for us to verify your contribution, please send to us a corresponding email at voiceofinfluenceradiora at yahoo.com or voiceofinfluence100 at yahoo.com as soon as your transaction is complete. May God bless you and thank you for your generous support. This song is from my album entitled New Face, Shining for His Glory. May your heart be richly blessed as you listen carefully to the words of this song. Brothers and sisters, if you have a testimony of what the Lord has done for you, just testify and say amen. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. For God has spoken, so let the church. Sure.